right, time for another aquaponics update. <laughs> I've made a few changes. Uh, seems like it's been an ever-evolving process here, but I think I got a, a finished product, or other than maybe some minor adjustments, but I, I think I'm pretty much happy with the, everything that I've done. Um, okay, as you saw before, I added the pipe down here that comes over to the barrel uh, and that's actually going to be, or it is a biofilter and let me go around to show you okay down in there, I don't know if you can really see it but uh, I've got the uh, material which is basically poly rope all separated up and I've got uh, several inches of that separated by uh, the little ceiling grate, light grate, whatever, ice cube tray looking stuff <laughs> that somebody recommended in one of their biofilter designs. Um, so the, the water comes from the bottom of the tank and goes into the biofilter and it comes in the pipe and you can see the elbow down there which kind of makes it swirl a little bit and it does have a swirling action to it so it's actually coming in the top and going down through the filter material and then coming up through this other pipe you can see where I've got a T going out the side of the barrel and I've actually got some fish down in there that got sucked through I put a I put a uh, kind of a strainer type thing, but somehow they, two of the smallest ones got through. Anyway, I'm going to have to, I got a, a new idea for that, uh, to change that uh, little grill down inside to keep fish from coming through, but I'll talk about that later. So then the water comes out of the biofilter and goes down into the barrel, <coughs> down in the ground here and uh, the problem I was having with that is the uh, restriction in flow uh, every time the the grow bed would empty the water would get really really close I mean it would it would get up to right here you know one of these top two little cubes almost up to the top um, and when I first did it it overflowed until the water kind of got in the balance you know that it needed it, it overflowed and and then the barrel overflowed but what I found out is I had basically too much water in the system so uh, at any rate you know when the grow bed flushed that's what would happen but now I've uh, to, to alleviate that problem as you can see I've got another pipe going through a bulkhead fitting coming down and it's also dumping down into the into the drum that's in the ground and what I did on that end of that is I turned an elbow and stuck it in there you can see it and I put a net pot on the end of it which works great as a strainer to keep the fish from getting sucked down in there and that's actually what I'm going to use on the bottom of the tank as well uh, but I didn't know that until I bought the things and figured out they had more uses than just that <coughs> okay so that's the uh, biofilter and the the new bulkhead fitting and then I also added some uh, as you can see look back two pieces of PVC and I got holes cut in the top and got water flowing through it. I'm going to use the net pots and put plants down in those. Uh, that seems to be working out pretty well. I may need to adjust these lengths of pipe that I've got, the little stand pipes to you know, get the water level to where I want it. I've, right now I've got it to where it's almost up to the top edge of the little hole. Uh, but not overflowing. So I'm going to have, uh, that's that, I got about seven, seven spots on each 
each uh, piece of pipe for some net net pots and plants. I'm gonna try cucumbers. I'm gonna try uh, maybe some peppers and whatever else. So in the coming days, I'll be I'll be adding on to that. Now let me come around here, take a look at the growth we've got going on. I don't know what you can see, but there's some uh, onions, and carrots, spinach. Let's see, zoom down in on the. You can probably see the onions there. Spinach. And you can come around the other way. I think there's some carrots in there too growing. But I interspersed some more uh, seeds, various plants, uh, seeds I had laying around in amongst the uh, broccoli and the uh, Brussels sprouts. And you can see I've got a bunch of the lettuce salad mix coming up over here starting to look real good and things are coming along yeah, everything looks fairly decent I uh, got new some new growth on the broccoli plants here so they're kinda slow growing but they are growing and we'll just have to see in the coming days how things go so that's my update um, oh yeah one more thing to just show you where the water comes you can see the the little piece of flexible tubing that I've got <coughs> going up. That's that's feeding the two pieces of PVC. Runs down to this end, and that's where it goes in the system. It goes all you know. Of course, the water flows all the way down. Goes down through that piece of pipe into the bottom one, and the water flows down through here where it exits the pipe. And that little drain there, which again dumps back into my barrel where my pump is. So, any comments? Uh, I'd be happy to hear them. Uh, this has been a real interesting experience, and I'm really looking forward to growing some good stuff this year. So, um, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching the video.